We're out here getting some strawberries. What'd you find? You found another one? Oh, wait, wait, it has to be all red. Get one that has a lot of red on it, okay? That one has a little bit too much green on it. Maybe we need to go down a little further. I don't know if I want to eat it though. I think we might do something inside of it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Get a little shade and whatnot. Finding some good ones? Ooh, double pleasure. Ooh. That's what I got so far. I think we picked a good time to come out here because it's not as hot as it was at 12. <laughs> Ooh, you got a lot in there. We're gonna fill our, bu our buckets all the way up, okay? okay? Then when we get home, we can do strawberry pancakes, strawberry smoothies, st strawberry jelly. <laughs> Ooh, hi, beautiful. I got one. I got one, see this? It's a beautiful red strawberry. Yeah. <laughs> this one. Mm -hmm. It's a tiny one right here. Look, I got a tiny one. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's keep looking. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Red means ripe. Red means ready. I wonder if it's green at the tip. That I do not know about, but I already picked it now. Let's go all the way down that side. low-hanging fruit <laughs> a couple good ones you did good job baby what you got <laughs> I'm going to tell Amaris you did so well keeping your mask on and maybe she'll be better with her mask too. You're doing such a great job, Avery. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, baby girl. Ah, is it heavy? No. No? Oh, she's a strong girl. Yeah, strong. Me too. Head out. Some good ones down here. Ooh, that's a beautiful one. That's a the buckets are almost full. Either I smell my breath or I smell like some animals poop in the wind. You smell it? <laughs> okay, good. That means it's not my breath. Did you have fun, Avery? Good. <laughs> now my face can breathe. Did y'all have fun? Yeah. Good, I'm glad you had fun. My face is sweaty. Ooh. I didn't put any makeup on past my eyes. So, um, yeah. This was, uh, this was really cool. Oh, Lord, my chain is really... <laughs> the weather was, like, perfect. I think we came at a good time of day. Good, you know, ample amount of time to be in the sunlight, getting that vitamin D activated, getting some fresh breeze, some fresh air, 
and it wasn't busy when i looked on facebook their most popular times are like on tuesdays which is weird but it was perfect because i didn't want to be around a whole lot of people anyway um i definitely want to put strawberries in my cereal because frosted mini wheats with strawberries oh my gosh and honey nut cheerios with strawberries that's even better Alright you guys, so now we are going to transition over to a voiceover as I give you instructions as to how I made this delicious, succulent, delectable strawberry jam. And I made it from the strawberries that we just picked. So I have to give a shout out to Crouton Cracker Jacks. His page is actually where I got the instructions and I basically followed them step by step. So of course you're going to start with your strawberries one lemon actually I used half a lemon and two cups of sugar you're supposed to have two pounds of strawberries i didn't know how many pounds i actually had so i looked at what seemed like two pounds and it turned out fine <laughs> so of course i'm going to clean my strawberries rinsing them really really good making sure i shake them up in a colander get them all rinsed really really well because we just got them out of the dirt so i want to make sure they're good Here is how my strawberries look after I've washed all of them. These are all the ones that we picked. I had three large bowls full. And I basically just took one of those bowls and I treated that as my two pounds. So I'm gonna take my melon baller and get the stems off of the top of the strawberries. Is that called the stem? I don't know, the green part, the leaves. I'm gonna get the leaves off of the strawberries and after I get the leaves off of, off of all of the strawberries, I'm gonna go back and just um, roughly chop them up, um, basically in fours. So I just cut them in half both ways and um, taking off the green parts just in case that affects the flavor in any way. And I'm going to pour them back into the bowl, pour in my two pounds of sugar. And I'm going to take my lemon. If you don't have a fresh lemon, you can use lemon juice. And I rolled it to make it really, really juicy to kind of get the juice to come where I want it to be. And I'm just going to juice it with this lemon juicer. <laughs> squeezing out all the lemon juice. I'm gonna take a fork also and get all the seeds out of the way before I pour this into my strawberries. After I've done that, I'm gonna just start stirring, making sure that all the sugar is across the strawberries and basically the strawberries are coated in sugar. I wanna make sure that all the strawberries have plenty of sugar and lemon juice on them. So I'm mixing it up really, really well. And then I'm gonna let it sit for an hour so that the juices can really be drawn out of the strawberries. And here we are where the juices have been drawn out of the strawberries. You can see it looks very juicy. The juice is actually pretty runny. And you want to pay attention to this because this is basically how you'll know the stage that you're in in the process, I guess. So it should start off very runny like this. And again, since I didn't know exactly how many pounds I had, I really had to pay attention to what the strawberries looked like. Now I'm going to pour it into my pot. And this pot is big enough to leave some space at the top so that when the strawberries start to get hot and bubbly, they won't, um, the bubbles won't overflow. So you wanna make sure you have a pot that's big enough for that. And basically once you start stirring, keep stirring. I have my pot turned all the way up to high and you have to keep stirring because if it starts to stick and burn at the bottom, in um, Cracker Jack's uh, words, that's it, game over. So you have to stir. I literally stirred for like 45 minutes. <laughs> Once it starts to really bubble up though, you wanna turn your temperature down. I turned mine down too far. Um, I turned it to low and that's why I was stirring for so long. I would say turn it to maybe like medium. So that way you still get bubbles. You wanna make sure it's still bubbling and still cooking at a good speed, but it's not foamy anymore. 
so you see it you see the foam has started to go down it's starting to lessen and it is still bubbling so I'm checking just to see how fast it's bubbling because basically you know the difference when you see the bubble the bubbles start to change um, just like what was mentioned in the other vi video when you when the sound goes from like boiling water to more like a boiling custard and your consistency changes that's when you know that your strawberries are done and that it has turned into a jam again you have to keep stirring at least until you turn your pot off so I'm checking the consistency here and I can see that it's gotten a lot thicker than it was at the beginning and I still have my chunks of strawberries which I love in my strawberry jam and um, just still making sure that it doesn't burn now you can see here that the consistency is a lot thicker than it was at first and it is a jam it's pretty much ready I've turned off my heat I'm, I'm able to stir I'm able to slow down with stirring and it's not getting stuck anymore I also put some hot water boiling hot water into this mason jar just to kind of get it prepared so that when I pour in the jam it won't explode <laughs> Then I'm going to pour out the water and pour in the jam. This mason jar has a story behind it. Um, there were, I actually have a lot of these, and these were some of the decorations I used for my daughter's baby shower. And I just held on to them. I washed it out really, really well and um, found a lid, washed it out, and now I get to use it for my jam. <laughs> okay, and there you have it. Um, of course, I wanted to taste test. I let my mom test it, and she doesn't even care for strawberries, but she loved it. And to me, it tastes just like Welch's strawberry jam, the natural strawberry jam. So I hope you guys give it a shot. If you do, let me know how it went for you. And I hope you all enjoy this video as well. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section and let me know what you think. Make sure you share this with your friends and go pick some strawberries, get some sunlight. Thanks, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you can be notified whenever another video comes out. And thanks again for watching. Have a great one.